Movies that are shipped from the morgue. What's inside the newest horror pack? The monthly horror subscription service. Pretty sure these aren't actually being shipped from the morgue, but they might as well be. You're getting horror titles delivered to your doorstep in a body bag. Four, to be exact. If you do like horror films, whether they be DVD or Blu-ray, you can click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to Horror Pack's website. And then from there, you can also relish in having horror titles delivered to your doorstep. We're going to go ahead and open up this bag and check out the contents inside. I don't know yet what titles are going to be inside this bag. But we'll certainly know soon enough. Just reaching off to the side of the camera, I'm going to bring in Chet Cuttington the third, my trusty blade, and we're going to slice the side of the bag very carefully. Of course, making sure I'm not cutting any of these. What I'm going to do is what I always normally do is I'm going to pull a title out. I have un... Flip that over. There we go. I have no idea, no idea what's actually going to be in this bag. So as I pull out each one of the titles, do me the favor of letting me know down below in the comments section if you've seen any of these titles and what you think of them. The first one that we're going to pull out is a movie called Case 39. I have this movie on DVD, and I don't think I've ever really seen it. I may have watched, catched, maybe about five minutes of it, and then I was preoccupied. I wanted to go and do something else, but I don't think I've ever really seen this movie. It stars Renee Zellweger, Ian McShane, and Bradley Cooper. Oh, Bradley Cooper's in this. I didn't know that. I don't have it, certainly, as a Blu-ray. Let's flip it around here. It says Academy Award winner Renee Zellweger stars in this terrifying supernatural thriller about a social worker who has been assigned the unusual and disturbing case of Lilith Sullivan, a girl with a strange, mysterious past. When Emily Zellweger opens her home to attempt to help Lilith, it turns into a deadly nightmare. She may not survive. Co-starring Bradley Cooper from The Hangover, Case 39 is a heart-stopping thriller with startling surprises that lead to a shocking and sinister ending. Special features include... Filed Under Evil, Inside, Case 39, Turning Up the Heat on the Chill Factor, Inside the Hornet's Nest, Playing with Fire, and Deleted Scenes. Release date on this is 2010. Oh, at least I can actually make it out this time. It's right there, 2010 and 109 minutes. That's an easy-to-digest movie. Have you seen Case 39? Let me know down below in the comments section. We're going to go ahead and pull up the next title, which just happened to have a sleeve cover, I've noticed. This one is Anna and the Apocalypse. Apparently stating by Toronto Now, it's a bloody good time. An absolute blast at the movies, says Demo Geek. So Shaun of the Dead meets La La Land. Does that mean it's going to be a musical? Flip it around here. Charming, often clever, and unexpectedly moving too, says the Associated Press. One of those horror movies you leave, to leave you with a good holiday cheer. A zombie apocalypse threatens the Christmas cheer in the sleepy town of Little Haven, forcing Anna, played by Ella Hunt, and her friends to fight, slash, and sing their way to survival. It is Canadian, apparently, as well. There's the logo down below for the Canadian Film Board, Quebec Film Board. This was released, if I can see it here. Well, first of all, it's got bonus, bonus features behind the scenes. That's it. Uh, the running time, though, and release date, 2019, if I'm reading this correctly, right there. Doesn't actually say. Let's pull this out of the slip cover here. I want to see if I can find where the... Oh, 93 minutes right there. 93 minutes. Unfortunately, nowhere on the sleeve cover, but I always like when they include slip sleeve covers with their movies. Okay. I don't know if I would watch this just yet. I almost feel like when it comes to Christmas or really any holiday-themed horror films, I generally like to keep those for the holidays. I don't like to watch them throughout the year. Are you guys different? Let me know down below in the comments section. And then we'll continue our journey on to pulling out the third title. This is called Screen Test, a horror pack limited edition Blu-ray. Starring her, who is from Sleepaway Camp. I'm drawing a blank who it is right now. It's going to pop in my head. Nothing. It'll come to me, I'm sure. After damaging the vocal, after damaging her vocal cords on her latest low budget horror film, veteran screen queen Angie Newman is sent to an exclusive isolated resort to rest and recover. But a deranged killer is slaughtering the guests by copying scenes from her movies. The lights, camera, murder, and this comedic horror romp. Release date on this is 2020. 
83 Minutes. That's another digestible movie. What's the name of this actress? You would think that they would have listed it somewhere on the back of the cover. Of course, she's the draw. She's on the front of the cover, after all. I'm drawing a blank. I got nothing. I've got nothing. I have well, one more title. The last one we're looking at is Resident Evil Vendetta, an original CG motion picture. Uh, it's a two-disc special edition, by the way. Let's look at it on the back. With When a fearless enemy out for revenge unleashes a brutal and deadly new virus, BSAA Captain Chris Redfield enlists the help of Agent Leon S. Kennedy and Professor Rebecca Chambers to bring down the death merchant and save New York City. The special features, special features because there's, of course, two discs, filmmaker audio commentary, still gallery, CG to reality, the creature, CG to reality, designing vendetta, motion capture set tour with Dante Carver, and then disc two is the BSAA mission briefing, combat areas, designing the world of vendetta, and Tokyo game show footage. I can safely say I've never seen this movie. I don't think, in fact, I've seen any of the CG no, I don't think I have any of the CG Resident Evil movies. Have you seen this one? Have you? Let me know down below in the comment section. So here are the title selections that we got this time around. I can safely say, yeah, I haven't seen any of these. Resident Evil Vendetta, a CG motion picture. Scream Test, starring You Know Who, which was Angela, by the way, from Slumber, uh, Sleepaway Camp. I want to say Slumber Party Massacre. No, Sleepaway Camp. And in the Apocalypse, that might be interesting. And we also got Case 39, about five minutes in. That's about as far as I made it. Not that the movie wasn't interesting. I think I was just watching it and I was distracted. I had to go do something else. But at least I have it now on Blu-ray rather than DVD. If you would like to have DVD or Blu-ray titles delivered to your doorstep of the horror genre, you can click the link down below in the video description. That will take you on over, of course, to Horror Pack's website. And from there, you can decide which way picking your poison, whether you want to have things delivered as DVDs or Blu-rays, or you can certainly have both if you will, if you wish as well. If you guys are new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn the bell notification on. And keeping, yes, your ghoulish peepers peeled to this channel, because there will, in fact, be more reviews. Is that really how we do things on this channel? It is. Frequently. All the time. There's lots of stuff, though, coming your way. So, as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.